Hi. Hi, guys. Hello, Hi. teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's everybody? Everybody okay? Excellent, Nidia. Very nice. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Arely and Guillermo. Welcome. Hello. Hi. How, how was your day Hello. today? Thank you. Every, every, everybody's day was okay. Brenda, did you have many meetings today? Yeah, I have more, <laughs> I have more tomorrow. Oh, are you serious, Brenda? <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness. What kind of job do you do? I work in a call center. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I believe that you have a lot of meetings. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, all right. Wow. You know what, guys? Today, I went out because it was my day to go out to the supermarket. Uh, I, I, yeah, I would like fresh air. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I live by Comalapa Road. And it's a disaster. I mean, it's amazing. I, I was really scared because, I mean, the whole mudslide and everything, the, the rocks are humongous. They're huge. So it's like very, very scary. And that's like, uh, it's about one kilometer away from my house. So it's like, yeah. Do you live in La Paz? Sorry, Freddy? Do you live in La Paz? No, I live right in San Marcos, but like by the uh -huh. carretera Comalapa. Um, okay. So the, the, the big, uh, what happened there is like about a kilometer away from me. So it's like, oh my goodness. Okay. So I was driving today. I'm like, oh my God. And there was a big lineup of cars and everything. So it was really scary. Yeah. I so I better stay home. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safer. All right, very good. Manuel, why do you have two things today? Manuel Fuentes, you're twice. <laughs> hi, hi, good morning. Good night, sorry. Good evening. <laughs> That's okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Manuel? I'm great. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with life. Because yes, of right course. Now, yeah, right now, it's, it's dangerous in the suburb. It, it is. Yeah. A lot of problems. Yes, I know. Yes. And there's going to be a Cadena Nacional today. Did you know that? Oh, no. There are today. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's going okay. to be no. I mean, it's programmed to be at 8.45, but they always begin late. So probably by 9, when we finish the class, you can watch it, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you for the news. We're, we're going to make it on time. Yeah, you're going to make it right on time. You, but I can't because I have another class. <laughs> yes, but when, when, when Najib talk in the TV, it's similar for the final, <laughs> the, the, the match around the world or for the best play around the world. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so you didn't know, Nidia, you didn't know about the, uh, the Cadena Nacional? No? Freddy, you didn't? Brenda, you didn't either? Or you guys knew? Me too. Okay, all right. Guillermo, did you know about the Cadena Nacional or not really? Uh, no, really. I'm sorry. Okay. That's, oh, that's okay. That's okay. No, I mean, it's okay. All right. Hi, Saida. Uh, Hi, teacher. Tal vez lo conozco, Saida. Yo usted no la conozco. No enciende tu cámara, Saida. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys. So today it's Thursday. All right. So this is the last day of the first week. Okay. And I, I don't know if it's my impression, but time flies. All right. I mean, we just began on Monday and now it's Thursday. Oh, my God. All right. So that's good. Y de la misma forma, the other three weeks are going to go flying. All right, so you, we better work, okay? So, guys, we're going to keep on uh, talking about the reading section, the last, um, the last actually, day that we're going to talk about it. But that doesn't mean that you guys stop reading. I mean, it's on the contrary. You need to read more, okay? So, uh, before we start, uh, did, you guys, did, did you guys read the last paragraph that we had yesterday? Did you have the answers? Yes? I know uh, Nidia sent me uh, the answer 
excited too. And Freddy, you did yesterday, right? Well, I didn't answer to you, right, Freddy? I didn't answer oh, back yeah. yesterday. I'm so I, I think I didn't because I was on the other class and then I, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. But anyway, um, okay, so the answer, is, Brenda, do you have the answer for that one? For the last one? No. Okay. No. All right, okay. Hi, Elena, we missed you yesterday. Hi, Julia, hi, Evelyn. All right, so the answers, guys, for the last passage of yesterday's class was C as in Charlie, E as in elephant, and F as in friend. All right, C, E, F. E, F. Okay, most of you or the people that sent me the answer choices, you got two right. I think, Nidia, you got two right. Yes, Nidia? Yeah, all right. Freddie, did you get two right too? Yeah, yeah in the all right. <laughs> okay, so that means you have a point. That's okay. All right, I mean, you have a point. Okay, so remember that. I mean, the they are C, D, F. No, C, E. C, E, F. C E F. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So with that in mind, we're going to move on. Okay. So today we're going to talk about the fill in the table questions. All right. Uh, these type of questions, when you have the TOEFL test, you're either going to have a pro summary question or a fill in the table question, but no both. Okay. So that's good. All right. That's good to know because I mean, don't expect to have both uh, type of questions in one single test. What is the difference? The difference between the process summary questions and the fill in the table questions in, is that in this one that we're studying today, you're given five choices rather than six, okay? But not always, but that's pretty much how it is usually. So you will have five choices and you will have two categories, okay? So, for example, depending on, the, uh, uh, depending on the passage, you will have two categories. For example, you can say fruits and vegetables, okay? So, you're going to choose from your choices which choices speak about fruits and which choices speak about vegetables, okay? So, you divide them like that, okay? So, the idea, I mean, you have to um, fill in both categories, okay? But the idea is to fill, fill them in with the right choices because you can fill them in, but you can mix them up, all right? And that's not good. So that is the biggest difference between the other one because the other one is just, you have three choices. From six choices, you get three right ones, okay? And the other three are, not, are left out. In this case, all the answers are gonna go somewhere. Okay, but you need to make sure that they go to the right place, okay, to the right category, okay? Again, the fill in the table questions, they are given the same amount of points. If you get the three right answers, then you get two points. If you only get two, then you get one point, all right? And then if you don't get, if you get one or no answer at all, then you get no points, okay? So that's pretty much how it works, okay? So do you have any questions about the filling the table ones or it's, it's understood? Yeah, you guys understand it okay? All right, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna, mm, you know what? Um, this is what, this is the one that I have. Just give me a second. While I, uh, while I show it to you, I'm gonna send it to the group because I want you to have it, okay? Just give me a second. I just finished the other class too, so that's why I couldn't send it to you guys. Here we go. So what are your plans for the weekend? Nothing. <laughs> Staying home? Stay at home. <laughs> Stay at home. <laughs> yeah. That's the best choice right now. And sleep is the best option. Ah, yeah, especially with this weather, huh? Yes. Yeah, we like to sleep in. I mean, suddenly it's like 10 o'clock and you don't feel it because it's so chilly and cloudy that you feel it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, filling the table. There you go. Okay. So I'm sending it to the group right now. All right, guys. So let's just wait for it to upload it. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is what we're working on today. The good news is, is uh, Maribel in class already? Did Maribel come in? Not yet? Maribel, Maribel? No? Okay. 
Well, the good thing about these um, passages is that they are shorter than the other ones, okay? They're not so lengthy, all right? So that's good, all right? And they, I was, I mean, I had to read them and everything, and I think they're a bit friendlier than the other ones that we were reading these past days, but I'm not sure. Some of them are, okay? So they are not so complicated. Again, here we have filling a table question, and this is, whoops, this is quite small. This is pretty much what the instructions are gonna be like, are gonna look like, and it says in the following exercise. Each passage is followed by a list of answer choices and two categories. Okay. Follow the specific instructions underneath each passage about how to match the answer choices to the correct categories. Not all of the answer choices will be used. Okay, so some of them are gonna be left out but most of the time, everything, you use everything, okay? So you're, as I send you to your groups, there are four readings, they are not that long, okay? So as you read it, please, again, as I, I have asked you like this whole week, try to get a notebook and a pen, write in the vocabulary that you don't know that for your own learning, okay? We might not know every single word, Okay, so it's good because then you can improve your vocabulary that way. So write it down, work on, with your partner on the uh, pronunciation or the meaning of any other word that, you, that maybe you know and he doesn't or she doesn't, okay? So read it, and as soon as you read it, you have the question, all right? I mean, the instruction, it says select the appropriate phrases from the following choices and type or choose the corresponding letters to the type of homes to which they relate, okay? One of, in this case, they will tell you, if you're not gonna be using all of the answers, it's going to be said on the instructions, okay? So in this case, it says, one of the answer choices will not be used, okay? So you have to keep that in mind, okay? So you have expensive to build, higher energy costs, unstable solid temperatures, soil temperatures, uh, waterproofing, oops, sorry, there's a missing A there after water to avoid dampness and stuff. So read all like over the choices and then you have the two categories, underground homes and conventional homes. So when you're answering the, this um, question, write as a category underground homes and then you write letter B and D, for example and conventional homes E and A, all right? And then you're left with one out. Do you understand what you're going to be working on? Yes? Yes. Okay, so then you have another reading, another question, another reading, another question, another reading, and the last question, all right? So we have four passages, but they are a little bit, not that long, as the ones that we were reading the other day. I think this is the longest one, all right? But this one is not that bad, okay? I don't know, did, did you receive the uh, PPT already? Yes, it yeah. is. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Um, yes. Open your PPT and share it with the screen with your classmates. Please try to read together so you check and you help each other, all right? So there we go, guys. I'm going to uh, send you to your groups right now. And I'll be checking in your groups in a little bit. Hi, Maribel. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, Elena. Hi. You okay? Yes, I have a problem with the Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. I'm... Do you remember who you were working with, Elena? Um, Evelyn, I think. I think, yes. Yeah, okay, hold on, just give me a second. I'm gonna send you back. All right, there you go, Elena. Thank you. You're welcome.
And we heard the idea could be with conventional house. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Miss. How are you doing? Well, um, uh, we are well, uh, we are analyzing the choices. Okay. But I think that maybe we finish with the first exercise. Okay. All right. So, uh, what well, do you have for the answers of one point one? Okay. Underground homes, okay. uh, we have expensive to build. Okay. And that's yeah. it. Can you, can, um, Freddy, I'm sorry, I don't have my, my I cannot see the, the, the choices right now. Ah, oh, there you go, thank you. Okay, so expensive to build is letter A, right? Yes. And what's the yeah. other choice for the underground homes? No. No choice yet? No. No. Just, just, just that one. Yes. Okay, but that's good. You have it right. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, bravo. That's nice. <laughs> so you have 1.1 underground homes, expensive to build. Very good. That's letter A. That's one of the choices. Yes. And conventional houses, well, homes, we mm -hmm. have letter B, higher energy cost, letter C, unstable solid temperatures, and D, waterproofing to avoid dampness. So letter E, yeah, we don't use it. You will, you will choose letter E? Yes, uh, this one don't be used. Oh, E, you're not gonna use E? No. Ah, ah interesting. <laughs> Freddy, do me a favor, can you put the, uh, the passage? Yes. Oh. Okay, initially underground homes are more expensive. There you go, that, that's the answer. All right, uh, are more expensive to build than conventional houses. In order to avoid a home resembling a door, the basement much care and expense must be put into a designing a home with well-placed windows and skylights to ensure brightness and fresh air. Conventional homes have much more straightforward designs, also expensive and sophisticated waterproofing, it needs not to be used to keep moisture out of underground homes. However, in the long term, underground homes save the owner a great deal of money in heating and air conditioning costs. Underground houses require much less energy than conventional homes because the soil temperature is relatively stable and the concrete walls can store the sun's heat and radiate into the rooms at night. Okay, can I see the choices again? Okay. Um, mm. well. Okay. So okay. Okay. So we have okay for the conventional homes. They, uh, somewhere on the paragraph, it says that underground homes are cheaper to build. At the end, I mean, on the long run. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Can I'm gonna stop sharing this for like your and I'm gonna share mine because I wanna show you something here. Okay. All right. So here we have. Uh, let's see. You you can see this, right? Yes. Okay. However, in the long term, underground homes save the owner a great deal of money. Okay. Yeah. So conventional homes have higher energy costs. Look at this. Oh. However, in the long term, underground homes save the owner money in heating and air conditioning costs. Yes? Okay. So if you go back, conventional homes have higher energy costs. Yeah? Does it make sense for you? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. So B is one of the choices for 1.2. Yes, yes. Conventional right. homes. For conventional homes, yes. yes. All right. B, C, and E. B, C, and E. All right. Uh, okay. No, we don't use E, they are elephants. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the, the, what's the choice? It says easier to design. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, easy to design it is, right? Mm, look at this here. Uh, and a stable solid temperatures. We're talking about conventional homes right now. Conventional homes, it says, Higher energy cost and unstable solid temperatures because underground houses require much less energy. There you than go. Conventional. Okay, so underground houses require much less energy than conventional homes. So that means that conventional homes they have unstable solid temperatures. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Now let's we have to find here. Hold on, I just saw this somewhere. Uh, All right. If you see, they are talking a lot about the conventional homes and how they are, they have a lot of things that you need to work on, yes? If you take perhaps uh, Freddy and, we, and Guillermo, what the answer is not going to be straight out as for example, fruits are delicious, okay? But uh, if you read, for example, you know, they have vitamins and they have proteins and they are rich in, nutrients what are they telling you that they are delicious so sometimes the answer is not gonna be given as such you have to kind of like understand what they are telling you with the whole information here okay so if the if you take that in mind what are they saying about conventional homes here is that in a way they look look at this it says right here conventional homes have much more straightforward designs, okay? So they are like given, all right? It's not that you, they are not so complicated to build because they are straightforward. See, si algo is straightforward, it's simple, all right? Oh, okay. All right, so if you, oh, if you yeah. have that, if you keep that in mind, all right, it says conventional homes, they are easier to design, why? Because they're straightforward. There's not much thought given into them. You know what I'm saying? So, in other words, Freddy and Guillermo, for that one, for 1.2, uh, it should be B as in baby and E as in okay. elephant. Okay. But do you understand my point? Okay. You see it here, easier to design. If you reread it, it says here, conventional homes have much more straightforward designs because there's no big deal. It's just they are made the same way right okay all right so are, are you still uh-huh yes okay yeah so for oh, hold on for uh whoops for um for 1.2 should be b as in baby and e as in elephant and for 1.1 mm -hmm. you have a and what's the other choice we just have letter A. Ah, you don't have that one again. Okay, so look at the choice. Waterproof, uh, waterproofing to avoid dampness, okay? So try to find, where are they talking about dump and dark and stuff? So kind of try to like see it somewhere here. It says right here, conventional homes have much, a much more straightforward designs. Also, expensive and sophisticated waterproofing techniques need to be used to keep moisture, o sea, humedad, o sea, dampness, all right, out of the underground home. Ahí está, por ahí está su respuesta. ¿Ya? Okay. All right, Freddy and Guillermo, you understand? Yeah? I understood that. I confused because, well, <clears throat> we have to uh, left out. Ah, okay, yeah, you have to leave one choice out, but it wasn't E, all right? In this case, it's C. Let's see what C is. C is unstable solid temperatures. It doesn't really talk about it. It doesn't really say it's, it's unstable, 
talks about expensive. It talks about higher energy costs. It talks about waterproofing to avoid dampness. And it talks about easier uh, to design, all right? So once you have those four clear, you know what you, you can do maybe, Freddy and Guillermo? Kind of like for the next passage, kind of like, okay, take the one that is not mentioned at all on the passage, okay? That one is not going to be anywhere. After you have decided which one is not going to belong in any category, then you decide, okay, so these two have to go in this category and the other two on the other category. I think maybe or perhaps omit or eliminate the, the option that doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and after you're left out with four, then you decide, okay, these two go in this category and the other two go on the other category. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, try it that way for the second passage, okay? Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, um... Hi, Saida. Hi. 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 How are you, <laughs> Hi, teacher. How are you? What number are you guys, were you girls working on? Number two. Excellent. Very good. Let's see what you have for number one. What are the answers for number one, Saidita and Maribel? And the underground homes and uh, letter A and C. Oh. And conventional homes B and D and eliminate the easier to design. Okay, you know what? I'm going to share this with you girls here. Can you see it? This is number one, okay? This is the first passage, yes? Okay, yes. so Saida, you told me for 1.8, you have, would, tell me again the choices, I'm sorry? A, uh, uh -huh. letter uh, A and C. Okay, letter A, correct, very good. But letter C is not correct. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you have for mm -hmm. and 1.2. What did you tell me? Mm -hmm. Unstable soil temperatures. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They, didn't mention, they didn't mention. Exactly. They didn't. Very good, Maribel. Ya le escuché, Maribel. Huh? <laughs> Very uh -huh. good. They didn't mention that. All right. Okay. What about 1.2? What were, what were the choices that you girls mentioned? Point two, B and D, high uh, conventional Higher energy house. costs. Mm -hmm. B, B high and? Energy costs. And letter D, for a proofing to avoid dampness. For conventional homes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have a mistake, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, veamos, leamos aquí, niñas. A ver, leamos las juntas. Te la voy a leer. Okay, yo sé que pueden leerla, pero se la voy a leer aquí. It says, initially, underground homes are more expensive to build than conventional houses. Ahí está la primera. Ahí no hay donde perderse. Okay? In order to avoid a home resembling a dark, dunk basement, much care and expense must be put into designing a home with well-placed windows and skylights that ensures brightness and fresh air. Conventional homes, listen to that one. Conventional uh -huh. homes have much more straightforward designs. Uh -huh. If I tell you, Saida and Maribel, a straightforward, give me a synonym for straightforward. What do you think a straightforward means? Maybe, maybe they are. Uh, hard, mm. hard or strong. Okay. Design. Right. Okay. So Saida, design. what are you, do you do? You have okay. Do you have any ideas, Saida? Uh, I think that is a strong light. Okay. Because I don't know what is the meaning of the forward. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna try to explain it right now. If I tell you that um, if you follow the rules in English because they're straightforward, what I'm trying to tell you is they're always going to be the same. 
if they are the same, if you practice it, it's going to be easy. It's going to get simple. Mm. Okay? So if I something that is straightforward is lo va a ser igual siempre. Okay? Es, es como esa expresión. That's what it means. It's straightforward is, uh, a menos en este contexto, conventional homes have much more straightforward designs. Quiere decir que los diseños siempre van a ser iguales. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Vamos a las, a las choices. Miren ahí cuál podría ser entonces. Si son los mismos diseños. Easier, easier to design. design. Easier to design. Porque uh -huh. son straightforward. Porque siguen un mismo patrón, por decirle algo, ¿ya? Ok. B All right. Y B and E. Very good. B and E. For 1.2. Para el 1.1 tenemos A, no, no hay problema, ¿ok? okay. Veamos ahí. Eh, le voy a regresar al párrafo y dice, ¿a dónde voy? Permítame, aquí va. Yeah. Uh, ok. Conve uh, also, expensive and sophisticated waterproofing techniques need to be used to keep moisture. Moisture es humedad. Sinónimo de dampness. ¿Ya? Regresemos aquí. Waterproofing to avoid dampness. All right. Porque dice, uh, also expensive and sophisticated. Si tiene un, un te, una técnica para eh, prevenir el agua, all right, es sofisticada y es cara. All right. Entonces aquí decimos que hacemos waterproofing. To avoid dampness, para que nos evite la humedad. All right, porque gastamos, es caro eso. Ok, según el texto, ¿no? Mm -hmm. And it's sophisticated. Entonces, the choice, girls, is waterproofing to avoid dampness. Because we're talking about these ones, all right? So, in, in other words, your choices would be, uh, for 1.1 is A and D. And 1.2 is B and E. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. I was telling Freddy, Hermo, Saida, and Maribel that maybe, como aquí estamos, acuérdense que aquí estamos intentando llegar a cómo podemos enfrentarnos a estas preguntas, ¿cierto? Mm -hmm. Entonces, one technique que podría funcionar, I'm not saying that's the one, pero podría ser, ok, I read the passage and I have my five choices. Me están diciendo en la instrucción que una no va a estar en ningún lado, ok? Mm -hmm. Entonces, what I can do is, ok, first, antes de mandarlas a las categorías, las opciones, tengo que decidir cuál de estas cinco no va en ningún lado, cuál de estas cinco no es mencionada en ningún lado. Mm -hmm. Ah, por decirles la C. Ah, perfecto. Entonces, A, B, D, E. Van, van a ir en alguna categoría. Entonces, como primero, creo yo que podría servir, el primer paso es eliminar la que no va en ningún lado. Una vez decidimos, ah, de no va, ya lo leí, no está en ningún lado lo que estamos diciendo, lo que está en la choice, decimos, ok, esta no va porque no está en el passage, entonces me quedan estas cuatro. Ahora, con estas cuatro yo tengo que trabajar para una categoría, dos para una categoría y las otras dos para la otra categoría. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Podría teacher. ser? Sí, dígame. Teacher, teacher uh, uh, I think uh, I am, I am going to analyze because I take uh, so the time to analyze. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this case, what I don't understand some, some words, some words I, have yeah. to, uh, I have to, I have to look for them. Yeah. And uh, then, oh, oh, so it's very difficult. So uh, that's because I, I said, I, I won't do the, 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 the TOEFL because I have to take too much time to resolve the, the exam. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I can, uh -huh. But yeah, for, and remember. For example, for example yeah. I, 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 teacher, is the, I, 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 I asked about the, about the homework mm -hmm. and I had, and I had the, the, a good answer, letter oh. C, E, and F. Excellent. And, uh -huh, <laughs> yes. Because I think I am a good, I, I, I analyze the, yes. the yeah. par, par, but I have to take too much time. Yes. I see in All my right. case, so I think my comprehension is very, is very, yeah, you can see the Slow? Uh-huh, slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
-hmm. But you know what, uh, you know what, Maribel, the good thing is, I understand what you're saying, but I think if you practice and practice and practice, you, each time you improve a little bit more with yes, time, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Entonces, de repente usted también como, eh, entiendo lo que me dice, más que el, acuérdese que el TOEFL es time, ¿verdad? Tiene dos horas para terminarlo todo. O dos horas y media, una cosa así. Entonces, y son readings, como 10 readings, ¿verdad? Right? Ni recuerdo ni cuántas son. Entonces, you are pressured with time. ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que usted puede hacer, eh, Maribel, de todas maneras, estas lecturas quedan ahí. Se la, uh -huh. Por eso se las mando yo a ustedes, como para, to, trate de tomarse y como ponen, poniéndose retos usted, ¿verdad? Bueno, me tomó por decirle media hora en analizar a este párrafo. Ok, entonces el siguiente que me tome 25, el siguiente que me tome 20, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo va a lograr eso, Maribel? Nada más reading, and, como decía Saida ayer, me comentaba Saida, eh, she has practiced a lot of readings. ¿Verdad? Entonces, de repente, pues sí, de tanto que uno lee, pues va mejorando en lectura, en comprensión, en vocabulario. Y, Maribel, una también algo que usted tiene que siempre tomar en cuenta es que no necesariamente tiene que uno saber, sabe, sorry, uno saber de... de the meaning of the word. Exacto. All of the word. Yeah, no, don't yeah. worry about it. O sea, even, y le voy a decir, eh, siéndole muy sincera, a veces yo leo los párrafos y digo, ¿y esto qué es? All right, yo no conozco y cualquiera que a usted le venga a decir que él conoce o la, ella conoce todas las palabras, ni siquiera en español, es cierto. ¿Verdad? De repente nos encontramos con palabras que nunca habíamos oído. Entonces, en inglés con mucho más razón, ¿verdad? Entonces, sometimes, if you don't know the meaning of a word, it's okay, ignore it and move on. ¿Verdad? Porque si usted, you get stuck in each word, se va a tardar un año en leer cada párrafo. Right? And to comprehend it. Yeah? Uh -huh. yeah. Pero, pero, Saida, you're, I mean, you know what? I mean, Maribela, well, and also Saida, I think you're doing very, very well. And I'm very happy, Maribel, when you get the right answers. And don't worry if you took the whole afternoon. The no. point is. No, no I'm kidding. No, not but, the, I, the, I took one hour uh, to oh, read that. Okay. Little bit. <laughs> but you know what don't worry if you took an hour it's okay you got the right answers that's the point you know you should be happy about that that you got the, the yes. right answers yeah yes. mm -hmm. all right very good so okay thank you you keep on practicing yo les dejo las lecturas ahí yo esperaría okay. y yo sé que, que lo hacen que sigan leyendo y sigan ejercitando en la plataforma son bien parecidos los ejercicios que están ahí ¿verdad? Son seis lecturas los que están en el, en el reading test. Uh -huh. Entonces tienen que hacerlas igual. Tienen todo el fin de semana o un poquito más para que lo, la vayan haciendo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, esto también le ayuda no solo para, para, para el largo tiempo, sino que para prepararla para el examencito que está en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ok. All Thank right. You. You are welcome. Hi, Elena. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Hi, did you girls finish? No, yet. Okay. Yes. All right, what number are you guys on right now? Were you working together? Working, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Evelyn, what, which number were you able to finish? Number two, teacher. Number one and number two? Yeah. All right, and Elena, you finished everything? Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Let's see, let's check one and two because you, both of you have finished that one. So what do you have for 1.1? 1. 1? Hey, Evelyn, what do you have for 1.1? 1. 1? I choose letter A and letter D. Excellent. Very good, Evelyn, well done, nice. A and D, and 1.2? B and E. Excellent. Very well done, Evelyn. Nice. Good job. Very good. All right. And uh, Elena, for 2.1, what do you have? Uh, for 2.1, I choose D. Mm -hmm. And just that. Oh, okay. And for 2.2? And for the 2.2, well, wait. Okay. For the number one, I choose D. Uh-huh. 
And for number two, um, also D. All right. Uh, just Elena, in these um, type of questions, you need to choose, I mean, one, only one of the uh, choices is going to be left out. So that means that you have to choose two choices for each category. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So yeah, but I mean, for 1.1, D is correct. And you're supposed to look for the other one, but Evelyn already told us, which was A. All right. Oh. So for 2.1, again, D. All right. Evelyn, do you have the other answer for that one? Ouch. No, I use, uh, I'm working in that and I okay. do have letter D. Okay, okay, very good, okay. And yeah. Elena, for two, okay, thank you, Evelyn. For 2.2, .2, Elena, what do you have? Mm, well, I have also D and maybe I think it will also be um, number C, maybe? Letters, letter C, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, for 2.2 .2 would be letter C. Very good. Mm -hmm. So Elena, what you have to do, I mean, at the end of the day, you guys, uh, you girls have the presentation with you, right? So the mm -hmm. idea is, Elena, for you to like uh, finish the passages and everything and try to look for the other choice for both, um, one, I mean, 2.1 and 2.2 .2, and for everything, you're supposed to have two choices. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Hello. In case I work. Hello. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Hi, Manuel. Hi. Hi. We're finished. finished already. Excellent. Yes. All right. Very yeah. good. Let's see. What do you have for 1.1, guys? 1.1. Uh, the first one, the first passage. The purpose. And that uh, I don't found what don't use. Is the only, only we don't know what, what doesn't use. Ah. We were guessing. We were guessing this is the Maybe. one that uh, it's not used, and e. this is one, 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 uh huh, and two. Uh -huh. All right, okay. But we were not sure. All right, okay. So for 1.1 for the underground homes, you're supposed to have A, all right, and D, which I see you do, right? A and D. They were the uh -huh. choices for 1.1. Point two for the conventional homes, you're supposed to have B, as in baby, and E. Uh -huh. and, oh. and E. So the one that is left out that is not going to go anywhere is letter C. All right? Now, if you look at it, it says here, easier to design. If you go back to the reading, somewhere there on the passage, it says a straight, uh, a straight, uh, for, a straightforward homes, okay? When you say something that is a straightforward, it's something simple. If it's simple, it's easier to do. Easier All right, to do. so that, that's how, yeah. If you put it back, uh, the reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, it says here, um, I'm just gonna move us from here. It says, uh, conventional homes have much more straightforward designs, okay? So they are simple, yes. they're easier to build. All right? Easier to build, all right. Okay, so can so, you repeat, yes. underground was? A Underground and D, as in David. And conventional. And conventional B, as in baby, and E, as in elephant. Okay. All right. We're going to go back right now, and, and I'm going to tell you the, the uh, answers from one and two, because most of the groups okay. did not finish, okay? So okay. we're going to share okay. that right now, and I have another class right now. Okay, guys, uh, I think everybody's with me right now. So um, for number one, I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna share this right now with you. Remember that the idea of these um, type of questions is that one of them is going to be left out, only one. The other four, they must go somewhere to like one of, one of or the other category, okay? So for number one, for 1.1 underground homes, the choices were A as in Anna and D as in David. Okay, A and D. And from 1.2 conventional homes, it was B as in baby and E as in elephant. Okay, I'm gonna give you the, the answers for number two. All right, for number two, we have early forms of dwelling is D, all right? 
One is D and E, as in elephant. D as in David and E as in elephant. And 2.2 .2 is A as in Anna and C as in Charlie. All right? Okay? I don't know. Where, uh, I'm not sure if everybody was able to finish, okay? But make sure that you send me because I need to go right now. It's after nine and I already have to begin my, my other class. Send me the answers from 3.1, 3.2, and I'll tell you if they are right or wrong, as well as for, for 4.1 and 4.2, okay? Guys, thank you so much for being with me uh, this full week. All right, next week, we'll, we're, we're going to begin with the listening part, okay? And it's going to be a little bit different than what it was TOEFL 2, and I'll show you how it's going to be different, okay? So uh, please have a nice weekend. Stay home and stay safe, okay? Thank you so much for being with me. Bye, guys. I'll see Bye. you next time. Bye. Bye. I work on the platform, Bye. okay? Read a lot. Bye. There's Thank a lot of readings there. Bye. 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 Bye.